Hey YouTube Nation, so today I'm going to show you how we do a garage apron or a concrete apron that's out in front of a garage, kind of like a mini concrete driveway. Now we've done these all different sizes from 10 feet out to 20 feet out. Today this concrete apron, the garage apron coming off this driveway is going to be 3 feet out. So we got a 3 foot garage apron, we got it all formed up, we got styrofoam down, we got our wire mesh in, we've drilled it and pinned it with rebar into the existing slab and now we're pouring the new apron. So this garage, last year we, we poured a, a concrete slab right over the old slab in the garage so we actually raised the height of it by about three inches. I think you can kind of tell there a little bit if you look hard. So the owner had to transition from the new garage height to his driveway height and part of the way he wanted to do that was with this garage apron so we're putting this three foot apron on and then he's going to decide how he's going to transition the rest of his driveway to the apron if he's going to redo the driveway if he's going to cap the driveway over with an inch and a half of asphalt or or what he's going to do but he wanted to get this apron in first and then figure out what to do with the driveway after so what we're doing is is we're pouring the concrete out. We got a pretty stiff slump today. We're using a 4,000 psi concrete. We got three-quarter stone. We got fiber mesh in it. It's got air entrainment in it. And we're pouring right around a three to a four inch slump. Now the apron itself has about two inches pitch on it where we started over there on the right. And as we move our way, as we move our way to the left, because of the slope of the driveway, you'll see that coming up in a different angle here in a minute. The apron actually starts sloping a little bit more. So we had about four inches slope when we got done all the way over to the left part of this. So we had to keep the concrete pretty stiff. And that way it would hold the angle without us having to keep fighting it from sagging. So we're getting most of it just magged in place. You see Darren there in the middle. He's just kind of magging it in place, getting it really close to where it needs to be. And Eric's coming behind him with the screed and just making sure it's at the right level. So we're matching the top of the form that we set up and we're matching the floor inside. And here's the different angle. You can see how the driveway kind of slopes down towards the road there on the other end. And you can see our form there way in back how much that slope so it had quite a bit of slope to it in that last piece so we'll get it screeded out and we're not going to be able to bull float this because number one the, uh, I guess we could if we had a really small bull float but we don't so we're just going to end up magging the surface out similar to the way we would bull float it and that works basically just the same. You can see Darren's going back now and he's gonna mag it out and smooth it out. So he's kind of pushing down the aggregate, bringing up the paste and the cream that we're gonna finish. You know, and make sure you hang out to the end of the video to see how we finish this thing. Also, if you don't, if this is your first time watching me, you know, my name's Mike Day, we specialize in all types of concrete flat work. That's what my channel's all about. So, I'm trying to teach the next generation of concrete finishers. So, why don't you help us out doing that by subscribing? Go ahead down there and hit subscribe. You know, share these videos. Let's get the word out and let's teach the next the next generation of, of concrete finishers. This is a really good skill, a good trade to be in. Um, there's always going to be concrete that needs to be poured, and I'm trying to help teach the next generation of how to pour and finish concrete. So, you, you can be a part of that by by helping subscribe and just putting the word out. So when we come back to finish these, you know, this is probably 30 to 45 minutes after we got done pouring. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut in our edge. So we're gonna put an edger on it up next to the form. And then we're gonna mag float the surface. And so we're doing two things here. We're rounding that front edge and that makes the edge a little bit stronger than just leaving it sharp. And then we're bringing up the paste to where we're filling in any imperfections from when we first poured by mag floating it again. 
this is pretty standard for when we do a broom finish we're gonna we're gonna edge everything on the form that we want to and then we're gonna mag float the surface at least once and you can see part of this is in the sun and parts in the shade so it's gonna be drying differently curing differently and sometimes that can pose a little bit of a challenge when you go to finish depending on you know just how cold the temperatures are outside and also when you're pouring on styrofoam like that too it does pose a little bit of a challenge having to deal with it if there's any bleed water that comes up after you get done pouring you can see Eric's just gonna run that broom over the surface he's got a three foot broom there pretty fine bristles on it he's cleaning off the broom in between each pass getting any excess paste off the the broom bristles and he pretty much does that on just about every pass if he feels he needs to now he's coming down hitting this part in the sun and you can see how that goes right there it goes real nice now some of you may question which way to run the broom, you know, either perpendicular or up and down like this. You know, honestly, when when the concrete is this firm, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the broom's gonna leave the same texture no matter which way you run the broom, either north and south or east and west. I know a lot of guys on one of my other videos were, were really getting on me about that. It doesn't matter it's the same texture if you're brooming it really wet then the broom is going to leave some grooves in there that, that I guess could add some more texture but we don't broom concrete that wet we like to make it look nice so because we're professionals and if you want to do it a different way then that's that's fine there's no really right or wrong way here we just do it the way we think is best so once Eric gets done brooming now he's going to run the edger across it here and the edger puts the finish on it. And that's how we finish up these, these garage aprons. So if any of you guys want a more higher learning than you know how to pour and finish, how to stamp, how to grow a business, then the Concrete Underground is the place to be. The link is down in the description below so you can check that out. And again, guys, thanks for watching. Come on back, share these videos, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and we'll see you on the next one.